Well the World Cup is nearly over and it's time for the Tour de France which it's a lot better than people kicking the ball on for 90 minutes Anyway I thought you know quite a few people might enjoy this but there's one person who is um, very pissed off about it and M Davis from Blythebridge who commented in the Sentinel our local evening paper and I've got it Got the website up on my phone about to tell you what he's saying. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you like to check it out. He starts with the French don't like us very much. They block the ports, disrupt air traffic when we most of us want to go on holiday. Yeah, because when you go on holiday to France, they say, hmm, he's going on holiday, let's block some ports. That's. Uh, they stop the truck drivers from earning a li living. They ban our meat from being sold in their country. I don't think so, I think they did blockade it with the BSC scare, but quite quite rightly so. But it's pills in comparison to the latest dastardly trick. <gasps> what could it be? They've taken it upon themselves to disrupt the house and spine of our country. How our government gave them permission to this is well beyond me. Well, it's a sporting event. We encourage sport. They said it can be started here. The government said, yeah, okay, we're being extra tourism into the towns, which it guaranteed to be being some tourism in the amount of people who are hanging around um, Skipton earlier when I saw it on the telly I'm on about a boy because that's called Tour de France it's not called Tour de Britain so I make millions of lies and there's a bit holding it holding some of it over here now note that some of it only like a couple of stages not, not an entire race roads will be shut, congestion will be massive and the cost of running to millions, and for what? Road shut for a few days, no just giving a few couple weeks an advantage. You can divert around, there are diversions in place. A couple miles on your, on your journey won't matter that much, will it? Okay. People will be watching it and given the idea that they are building yellow jersey wearer. I can see it now. It was bad enough when we had Chris Hoy, Bradley Wiggins, Mark Cavendish had a bit of success. success. But the roads will be full of amateur cyclists. Yeah, cyclists who want to go out and get some exercise, maybe set a few targets, you know what, can I, can I cycle 20 or 30 miles, you know. It's sports, you know, get healthy, don't sit at home being a fat to us. It's going to be 10 times worse as fitting the ear in the roads. Yeah, they have a much shorter on the roads than you do. And don't give the uh, car tax pays for your road services, it doesn't. It comes out of local government and they get the money off your council tax. So I hope you do pay your council tax. And I'm talking to you, M. Davis, I doubt you're watching it, but people like you. We have many circuits in this country. Brands Hatch, Donington and Silson to name but three. So why can't this bike race be held on these? Think about it, it's a no-brainer. Silverstone's been held there this... British Grand Prix's been held at Silverstone. There's someone at Brands Hatch and Donington probably something. They're motor racing circuits. You could but it'd be a bit boring and it won't be any um, competition for the cyclists. We'll go around in the circle for however many laps. There will be a little disruption and spectators will, have, will be able to see the races at all times in the comfort of a grandstand. Comfort of your, home, your settee if you're watching at home like I am. Or you could see it live. There's an atmosphere to it. But then again, I suppose there's an atmosphere to any motor racing, but you know. So people of England, prepare yourselves for, not for Armageddon, but bike again. Now, let's, uh, for starter, you say you live in Blythebridge. Blythebridge is nowhere near the route, so you're not going to be affected. It's a sporting event. If it gets people interested in cycling and they're going to go on the road, so be it. What happens during the World Cup? Do people go out and go into the park and play football? Have a kick around with mates? Yeah. What well, was in this golf tournament on that? Went with or Carnoussi or wherever. Do people think, oh yeah, well, well, I'm going to have to go at that golf. I've got the driving range or have a, well, if your council allows it, have a, have a few shots messing around on the park. This sort of thing happens in any sporting event. It doesn't matter what it is, you're going to get people interested. And if this affects you and you're pissed off about it, well, you know, tough. I can't see why you're whinging about it, you're not going to be affected by it. 
it doesn't risk doesn't come anywhere near you. If you want to have you up there, well, you know, deal with it. It's only going to be a day. I don't know where they're moving next, further down south, I think. Don't even know where they finish at the moment. But, you know, it's, it's only a couple of days in England and then it's Tour de France proper in France. Deal with it. Don't, don't complain about it. It doesn't even affect you. The fact the only thing you're doing is you're making this con this country, this county, look stupid. I hate it when they go on the news on TV and the local news. Oh, and we're in Stoke on Trent. Okay, I don't live in Stoke, but it's close to. And you think, oh, good God, what they're going to say? Who they're going to find? Who's going to be interviewing? You're making us look stupid with your stupid comments, whinging and bitching about something that's not even going to affect you. It's going to come nowhere near you, you're not going to be disrupted by it except for a few cyclists that happen to be on the road. And it seems to me like you're the sort of person who doesn't give the cyclists any room whatsoever. You somehow get into your fixed stupid head that the road is yours because you pay to go on it. Yeah, well I pay to go on it as well, I pay my road tax, I pay my petrol, I pay for insurance. If I see a seat, if I come up behind a cyclist, do I go straight up behind his back wheel? No, I, I give him plenty of room. Because what if he comes off, it'd be my fault, it'd be injury, and of course it pisses him off. I've been in that situation myself, I've been cycling on the, on the side of the road, and motors have come back, you know, nearly knock, knock me off, and it fucking scared the living shit out of me, so, um, quit your bitching, mate. Deal with it, you know. I don't see why you're getting so het up about it. But anyway, what today, that was yesterday's paper, today is Saturday. And I just got to, I can't wait to read the letters to the editor tonight. See if anybody's responded, or even next week, because fuck you now, you're in for proper. It, well, it's going to be interesting reading. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, what do you think of the Tour de France? Are you going to be watching it? And um, see you in the next vid. Thanks for watching.